In today's video, I'm going to share with you my five best everyday handbag from my entire collection. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If this is the first time you're watching this series, I will link up here the entire series that you can play back. But I only have two more episodes planned. So if you have any other ideas or requests, do let me know and I might end up doing that. So to me, an errands bag or an everyday bag is a bag that is super practical, super efficient to get in and out of, a bit more hard wearing than the typical delicate bags or delicate material, and also something that is still roomy enough to fit my everyday use. The first one I'm going to share is actually the oldie but goodie never full and I have here in the MM size. I actually do own two Neverfulls, this one in the monogram as well as the My World Tour, which is in black trim, but I love both of them. So to me, the Neverfull is a no-brainer because it is a tote, it is open style, very, very easy to get in and out of. I typically don't use the Neverfull a whole lot just because I normally don't really need a larger size bag on an everyday basis but I do love carrying a Neverfull if I have a full day out if I need to do a lot of different errands where I can just throw my purchases or throw my mail in it the difference between the Neverfull tote and any other totes out there is really a personal preference like I said I love the open top I love the ease of access I love how classic and beautiful it looks on your shoulder the monogram canvas is very hard wearing midsy pochette accessoire this is one of my newest in fact my actual newest lv bag it is also another canvas bag and this is such a wonderful wonderful choice as an everyday bag of course it is a lot smaller than the previous one but what i love about this is the ease of access straight zippers super comfortable strap the fact that you can use a combination of all pouches one pouch one strap two strap whatever you like you can customize it whatever way you like it's also one of my most stylish handbag that i own in monogram that i feel super cool in but not only that it is also really functional so the larger pouch which is the one in the back is the one that I usually end up using I usually end up using it with both straps if you're wondering about my stance on this bag it hasn't changed I still love it and I still highly recommend it up next we have here the Louis Vuitton twice I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I constantly rave about how good this bag is this style has since been discontinued however LV has re-release another version of basically a pouch bag and the one that I'm referring to is the double zip so if you want something that is new fresh from the boutique that would be the one that I would grab instead the price point is still really really reasonable probably the most similar to something like this I do like the fact that this one is a little bit more interesting to me I also like that the pouches are a little bit bigger and there is actually quite a bit more depth to these two pouches compared to the more current version not only is it so easy to reach in and out of this bag it really fits a lot it fits almost as much as the Palm Springs mini and we all know that the little Palm Springs mini backpack holds a lot moving on to some Chanel handbags so I have right here the Chanel 19 bag you would never in a million years think that a lambskin bag is durable enough to wear as an everyday bag right plus this one even though this is in the small size it fits a ton it fits so much more than a medium classic flap because it's malleable spacious large back pocket as well. I personally find that the best sizes for this style of handbag is either the small, which is the one that I have here, or the size up from this, so the medium. I find that the medium is still proportionate to most people. They've also recently started shortening the strap as well, which looks a little less crazy on an average height person however I do end up using it from the top handle most of the time anyway this bag comes in either shiny lambskin or shiny goat skin depending on the season I do have it in the lambskin myself I feel like there's enough classic features on this bag that it makes it long-lasting enough but also think about practicality because we all love the classic flap but it's not as practical I personally think that it's a great 
everyday bag for Chanel option. I can't be doing an everyday handbag video without also featuring the bucket bag from Chanel. So this is a seasonal bag. Mine is in caviar from the 19B collection. So from last year's fall winter collection. Bucket bags are generally a little bit more underrated. But if you look for the right features and because the bucket bag shape itself is very classic, then it can really become a super practical and also a long lasting classic style. In the case of mine, I love that it is in black caviar, so super hard wearing. There's feet in this one, top handle, shoulder strap, just a lot of boxes checked for this particular one, which is the reason why I have to include it in my best everyday errands bag for sure. I do end up using the Mitsu pochette a little bit more lately, but I was using the bucket bag a lot. I was really enjoying the Chanel 19 and of course the Neverfull, you can never go wrong. What are some of your favorite everyday handbags? Let me know down below and also which ones from my collection was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.